Over the past uh, couple weeks and months, there has been a movement which has consisted of uh, civilized, relatively civilized protests going on uh, at these quote-unquote tea parties across the country, which have been protesting high taxes, bailouts of banks and, and autos, and basically massive government spending. Finally, the people are calling for change in Washington. Now, some of the individual incidents that have happened at these tea parties have been inappropriate and unacceptable. And the media has decided to report just the bad, shady people who have been there, which are in the very small minority. Most, the majority, 99.9% .9 of the people at these tea parties are upstanding and civilized and just are tired of massive spending and high taxation. But the media decides to report on the 0.1% that are uncivilized. So, you know, let's just go past that for now. Let me say I don't approve of any uncivilized behavior. So let's just get past that for now. I think this Tea Party means that the American people feel back in charge, whether they're Democrat or Republican. Obviously, this is a predominantly conservative crowd at the Tea Parties, but you still have Democrats who are supporting the president's agenda for the most part, while the Republicans are calling for change. Um, and I think that it's a good thing that our country feels like we are actually in charge, because when it comes down to it, we are. Uh, you know, we have seen, I, I support of a bank bailout because I believe to run an economy, you have to have a currency. I also supported the auto bailout because I felt too many jobs were at uh, risk if we had lost the auto industry. But the people of this country, most conservatives opposed mainly the auto bailout. Some opposed the TARP, Troubled Assets Relief Program. But I joined with my fellow conservatives in opposing the president's health care plan um, on the basis of the mandates and the public option, though I supported the consumer protection and the tax credits, and I strongly opposed the stimulus, which did very little. Though I support build, rebuilding roads, uh, I believe it is a state issue, and not to mention that only 8% of the stimulus funds actually went to roads. I support road funding on a state level, not a federal level. So I think most of the spending, I, I opposed the spending that has gone on since the president proposed the stimulus. When he first took office and they had the auto bailout, uh, frankly, I had, I, or actually that was before he took office, technically the auto bailout happened under President Bush. Technically, I did support that bailout. Um, but this president's spending has not been on a currency or, or protecting jobs. It's been on earmarks, uh, pork barrel spending, new government programs and such, which I don't approve of. But anyway, the point of the Tea Party is that we, we're spending too much and we're taxing too much. We need to cut taxes. We need to get spending under control. In order to do that, some tough decisions are going to have to be made on entitlements, on, uh, on the cost of various government agencies. But that, that's for another time. The point I try to make in this video is that I believe it's very important that people express their views in a civilized manner. That's why I'm proud to see the Tea Party protesters saying enough taxation with that representation. It's the goal that our forefathers stepped out for over 200 years ago, and it's something we're representing today. Now, this president has not done a job that I would like to see a president do. Um, and I believe that protesting in a civilized way is the best way to tell the president that we disagree with him respectfully. Uh, and the people on the left who Though they may attack us on several occasions, some with true attacks and some not so true attacks, okay, mainly, I mean, I don't, you know, the, the left believes that we just want to uh, bash Obama no matter what. And the truth of the matter is that some in Washington do want to bash Obama no matter what for political gain, but here in the real world, we want, we don't bash Obama, we hold him accountable. And we're trying to do that. And you know, I've agreed with Obama on a few things, but I mainly disagree with him. I say it's about 90-10. I've agreed with him in Iraq, and I've agreed with him on stem cells, but I've strongly disagreed with him on, on tough issues like the stimulus, Guantanamo, uh, his, his uh, also, for the most part, I, the fundamentals of his health care plan, though I support part of the, some of the fundamentals, but I oppose some of them. Um, you know, I've opposed this president most of the time, and I think the conservative base has also opposed this president most of the time. And But we've supported him when we can. That doesn't mean, that, you know, we supported him on Iraq, and we supported, and not all of us supported him on stem cell research. 
I did for one, but I don't know if my fellow conservatives did. So I think the point is that it's good that uh, our First Amendment rights are being practiced, whether it be the Tea Parties on behalf of the conservatives or the liberals, uh, finally, after eight years, having their Democrat Party back in power, both houses and the White House. Uh, we'll have to see how this plays out, but I, I'm proud to be an American right now, despite all of our troubles.